Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Humbus Reptiles, and today I'm going to tell you some of the animals that I think are best bang for the buck, $400 and down. I'll kind of give you the parameters of what we're going to do, or give you the parameters of how I'm picking these, what it's based on, which is mostly right around there, around the corner, uh, but let you know kind of how we're doing that. Uh, with that, okay, um, this isn't going to be about breeding. This video is just purely about buying an animal that you like, because you like it, you want it, and within a budget that's more of a you know sometimes a pet friendly budget now with that though we go over to patreon which before we do that click like and subscribe then go check that out for me if you would we will then go over there and look at what ones of these i would buy to breed if i was going to try to start doing some breeding without having to get crazy some some super expensive because you don't always have to start with super expensive animals you really truly don't guys you know i think right now there's this belief that in this market you can't be successful or you can't have fun or you can't start something unless you're investing tens of thousands of dollars and well that's just bullshit and that's bullshit for people who want you to spend money with them you ever go to a timeshare sales rep thing I, I have and guess what they tell you always need to do spend lots of money and then you'll be happy um Truth is, to get into this, you're going to have to spend some money, okay? You are. It ain't free. I just spit on camera. We all saw it. We're going to let that go. Uh, <laughs> but you will have to spend some money, but it doesn't mean you've got to buy all $10,000 animals to get started. I promise. So we'll talk about which ones of these would be, I think, good for breeders and why when we go to Patreon. Uh, but right now, we're just going to tell you these animals, and the, the thought process is this. You and your family or just you or whoever, maybe your significant other, walk into a reptile show in your local community or not too far away so we're not dealing with shipping and you're gonna buy a snake and we're gonna set the budget of $400 and down uh, and we're not weighting it, the price into it anywhere, although I'm gonna tell you kind of what they go for other than has to be $400 or under, okay? And you're gonna buy with that $400 or under, which is a reasonable budget for a nice cool looking pet, I think. A nice, cool-looking snake that you're going to be happy to have in your home, show off, play with. It's going to make you happy when you open and look in that cage. So without further ado, let's get started. A few of these are going to be things you're just used to seeing because, well, uh, I'll be honest, there's a reason why... Actually, we'll go over here. There's a reason why I pick some of these. Uh, this isn't a rocket science thing, right? So the first one I want to show you... Get that shit out of there while I'm at it is a pied. A pied, I think, has been around, has held its price for a long time for a very good reason. This is one of our grow-up pied. She's pretty much hitting breeding size right now, which is awesome. I don't know if we'll get her into this year or next year, or wait till next year, but you can see, nice pied, really traditional for a pied. This one has a lot of nice color. Some of them are kind of a lot more dark and drab, but it's going to be more in the eye of the beholder. The price isn't going to be affected too much by that. It's also not going to be affected typically too much by amounts of white because people will find that the difference in white is kind of preference. So you have a white band, a white band, a white band. Really nice looking snake. Don't fall for this crap. Let me show you some crap. People will try to sell these for more money and they'll call them an emoji because look, it's got a happy face. Yeah, okay, it does have a happy face. It doesn't make it any more valuable. So if somebody's trying to like, Oh, I'll charge you $400 for this non-genetic happy face. Yeah. Okay, uh, I wouldn't do that. But what do these go for? We're going to price this as if you walked into a show and found a baby, not one this size, because the size you're going to pay more. You're usually looking for about $350 for a nice pied. So um, sometimes one's color is a little bit drab or a little white. You may find it a little cheaper on sale. Sometimes it may be a little higher. But right around that $350 mark is going to be a good starting point for pies. So that would be my first recommendation. Okay. And again, we're not factoring sex into this at all because it's based off you're going in and you're looking for a pet. So you probably don't really care if you're buying male or female in that case. So let's move on to the next one. Ow! Mmm. Fuck you, Ezekiel. Uh, we're <laughs> and then hit my knee. And the next one is going to be, and again, forgive her a little bit. She's already had her babies right here. So she's going to look a little skinny. Not too bad. Right, baby girl? Uh, it's one of these. This is what's called a blue-eyed leucistic, right? I think it's about coconut off. They show every little imperfection on these because they're solid white. Now, when you do bells, there's about 4,000 ways to make a white snake like this in the bell complex. And again, don't mind this loose skin you see. She did just literally lay her clutch. So uh, 
all good to go on that. Get all that crap off of you. There we go. Yeah, we're good there. Um, really pretty animals. Solid white. Beautiful blue eyes. They do, if you go super lesser, tend to have bigger eyes, which this one does have a little bit bigger eyes. So do keep that in mind if that bothers you. But you can do this through Super Mojave. Okay, is another way you can do this. So there's multiple ways to make this all white snake or get into this bell complex. And you can get into this bell complex usually for about $400. Uh, you can also do Mojave and Lessers if you wanted a gray head. There you go, baby girl. <laughs> and I'll show you some of the other bell ones if you like. Because uh, there's, like I say, about 47 different ways to do this. Whoop! You guys aren't locked up. So since these guys aren't locked up, I'll pick them both up here. This is two more in the bell complex. Now this, he's trying to see, he ain't there, is a mystic potion, okay? So when you do a mystic potion, it's not all white, but it is part of the bell complex, so it is a Lelic with all your bell stuff. Uh, you get this kind of bruise color. These are really cool. They're going to run about the same price, maybe a little bit more. This might be a little bit of a stretch, but if you do really look hardcore in that budget, you're going to find it. Now, this snake is in blue, so it's in shed, as you can see right there. Looking kind of crappy because it's been pushed on by this male for a while. Uh, this is a super, you can see the gray head, so I really wanted to show you. This is a super Mojave. So another way to make an all-white snake but not my favorite. Honestly, if I'm looking for a pet, I'm skipping Super Mojave, and I'm looking for either a Super Russo or a Super Lesser, because I think the white is a pure white. I like that look better. But out of all the Bell Complex, my favorite look is honestly probably the Mystic Potion. And you're looking around that $400 mark for them. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite snakes in my collection. And it falls in in the under $400 area, which I think is awesome. Um, you do have to do your shopping on these. You had a rough shed in there. Let me pull you out, though, girl. Because they're not all created equal, okay? What I mean is there's a lot of variations in color on these and how much white they have. What you're looking at here is a Calabi. So, yes, you do need to know about the spider. You are dealing with the spider in this situation, okay? Um, I'm not going to get into that now. Y'all know my feelings. i got a ton of it. And as you can see, the snake does just fine. Um, but what you are looking at is a pastel spider calico. So a three gene combo is coming in at about, mm, oh, about 350 bucks right now, which I think is awesome. Uh, they've actually appreciated a little bit, but a lot of the market has kind of like gas prices and everything else. I think see, she moves pretty good for a spider, right? I just love the color, how crazy they look, the amount of white they have coming up through here. just looks really, really cool when you get a nice one. It really enhances all that bumblebee, bumblebee look. When I mean, you get a darker stripe, a bright yellow digitized stripe, you get the lines from the spider, then you get the white. These are just awesome snakes. Bang for the buck. This is hard to beat. If you have a friend over who's a, a snake guy and you pull this out, they're going to be like, holy shit, where did that come from? Which is totally, totally awesome. So... We'll go back in there and I'll do a cleaning later. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I got a whole day for you guys tomorrow. Not a whole day. Whole evening at least. Go on. <laughs> so those are really, really cool. Hard to beat. Get rid of that one. The next one is our cheapest animal on the list. Uh, and I'll pull out this one here, which we've already pulled out once today for filming, but it won't mind. And that is going straight up. Okay. Straight up GHI. So GHI, when it first came out, when I first got in the game, was very, very expensive. And then like any incomplete dominant project, single genes are going to drop like a rock over time. It has not done that. I think this is kind of at about the bottom of where you're going to find it. And you're getting this really cool snake for 150 bucks. So why is this the only single gene I pulled out and my favorite single gene I pulled out? Well, I mean, I, I, I also will refer lesser a lot. But when you're going to go with a single gene snake... And you're wanting to save a lot of money, but you're wanting a really cool looking pet. What's usually the goal? Something that doesn't look like a normal. So to get the most bang for your buck, it has to be vastly different. You know, pastel looks different, the color's brighter, um, but these and lesser looks a lot different. But this dark GHI with this cool coloring and pattern, these things are just awesome. So I think you're hard pressed to find a better snake that's going to look really kind of crazy when you show it off or when you're just appreciating it yourself for 150 bucks. And GHI, really, really awesome to be in that price range. Yes, you are. 
If I told you guys what these things were priced at before, I remember they were, I mean, you were paying, you know, not 150, you could have added a zero to that not so long ago. Uh, with that though, let's combo that GHI, right? Because when you combo it, GHI gets really cool and you can still get in there for under, uh, what am I doing, it's over here. Now this one's breeding, so I'm sorry I can't pull it out. <laughs> so you have to Google it, just use a Google box once, I forgot I checked it, it is locked. But that is a GHI Mojave. And when you combo that GHI with Mojave, they interact really, really nicely. It also works well with Lesser, pretty much anything within that Bell Complex, but Mojave is personally my favorite way to go. And you get an awesome looking snake. So GHI Mojave can't be beat. And you can get in that GHI Mojave for about $350. You're gonna end up with a snake that's very, very dark with this sometimes solid yellow stripe and no pattern, sometimes just some ghosted pattern. And you'll have a broken yellow stripe down its back. And it, well, its colors aren't going to be as bright as it was when it's a baby. It just stays really, really nice and looks really, really awesome. So GHI Mojave is another good one. We got two more I want to show you. The next one is an inchy uh, ghost. So I got Kurt in here. You know, Kurt loves his inchy stuff. So I wanted to honor him a little bit in that. Now these inchy ghosts are, oh, you're so scared. You're so scared. There's something round around up there are so cool just dig them uh look at that thing and you can get into these for about 250 dollars uh, you can also get bit by this one for a lot less if you want i can tell you it is ready to rock look how stiff it is it's like raw uh, <laughs> but really really cool animals really really nice looking i love the colors on them they're not going to be that oh my god when you look at them like if you're used to looking at a normal that a say a ghi is but the color is going to be vastly different. They're always going to have that kind of cool washed out color. So it's going to be very, very muted compared to the Calabi or the GHI Mojave on the list. However, some people don't want crazy. And this is an awesome snake. Really good color, really good blushing. Just hard to beat a nice uh, inchy ghost. So I really dig this one. Uh, and for 250 bucks, which is what the going rate is on these right now, you can't really do, you could do a lot worse for sure. Yeah, just poke your head in there. It's a little trick there too. Kind of cover the head. You can see the snake is not going to ball up very well. So a lot of times you can cover the head. I mean, why is it always a ghost when I have to do this shit? And it'll ball up for you. What you don't want to do is, as you can see, I got the head to tuck in, right? No problem. And I tried to kind of put my hands in there and bring that snake into a ball. It's not going to do it. I don't want to just force it. You don't want to, I mean, that's where you can start injuring it, but a lot of times if you can put it into a tight area, it will go into a ball. Another trick is you can roll one up in your shirt and just let it relax. See if this will work. I'm teaching you guys some things today, right? To ball up your python if you want it to ball. And again, I'm not forcing this thing. Just putting it in a nice dark spot, making it feel a little more comfortable, trying to get it out of that reactionary stage. Kind of another way to deal with a difficult snake. And as you could see, now... We can get it in our hands and again just kind of work it we went from being mean angry and super tense to now uh in a ball not a super tight ball but now i'm not going to get bit she's not going to strike anything we're in a much better place so give that a little dark spot and kind of not squeezing just gentle kind of covering and you'll feel it relax and work in. don't force them into this position though you can hurt them but that's a good way of doing it and on that note, I'll put this back. And see, now I can kind of do whatever I want with that snake. It's a lot more calm. It feels secure, especially my hand holding it. It doesn't care. So just a little thought process. Put you back in there, little buddy. And then I'm going to show you my final snake to add to the list. And uh, that is a Tofino, which, guys, you cannot go wrong with these, man. I'm telling you, these things are just... Uh, they're so awesome right look at this i mean they don't get spots they hold that purple and yellow color they look wild compared to a normal to me you know banana came when i first started and kind of took this whole business by storm uh i mean bananas were going for <laughs> 10 to fifteen thousand dollars a pop pretty easy people were paying it of course now you can buy a banana a banana could be on this list the thing the reason banana is not on this list in tofino is for me as I feel like you get almost all of the color as a baby. Bananas probably have a little more color as a baby, if I'm being blunt. 
but this thing is going to hold it as we showed you in our last video this thing is going to look good or in one of our videos recently this thing's going to look good as an adult it's not going to go downhill it's going to maintain really nice colors it's not going to get black speckling all over it it's not going to mute um, so Tofino for me is what if you want that pretty snake this is a better choice than banana personally now i know people i just sold banana today and the lady i sold it to uh one of our local patreon members she loves way banana spots so there are people are out there who want to get those spots they think they're awesome and again those are beauties in the eye of the beholder if you're that way you should probably substitute banana instead of toffino and the bananas actually come in cheaper than the toffinos do anyway but if you don't want them toffino all day long uh and you can get into this for right about 350 bucks in today's market so for a quick review, you know, we told you we stand under 400. Our prices are 350, 400, 350, 150, 350, 250, 350. So really all over the map. We had one at four. We had one at 150. We had several that came in there in the 350 range. One that was in there at 250. And again, uh, we're trying to pick animals that look really good, bang for the buck, you know. And we only did one with spider. I could pick a lot of spider stuff, but I didn't want to be too heavy spider because spider is a choice that you got to make as a keeper. Um, you know, and as a seller, it's your job to help somebody understand to make the best choice for them. Listen to me, as a seller, you got to help them make the best choice for them, not the best choice for you, okay? Help your customer make the best choice for themselves, not what puts more money in your pocket. So, you know, when I do spider, you know, I, I tell them my my views on it, and but I'm honest about it. And if they choose it, awesome. If they choose something else, that's fine too. Now you're going to run? Where are you going to run to? Whoa. Whoa, and again, we're going to run. We'll do the same trick. Works every time. Kurt, why put this one into a calmer state? Anything you want to add? Are any questions? No. You're not giving me very long to calm this down. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to get it calmed down in that short of a time, I don't think. We'll see. We'll see how good my handling skills are. I learned to do this with rattlesnakes. No, I'm kidding. Don't do this with rattlesnakes. There's a way to do it with rattlesnakes, but you don't start this way. But as you can see, we're still better off than we were. You still want to run. We'll put you back there. Let you run all you want. All right, guys, that is all I got. We are going to slide over to Patreon now and talk about which one of these I would buy for a breeding program and why. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.